Alrighty Hosses, in this video I'm going to show you how to reuse components and also how to use properties. So right now we only have one component. It's a boring component that says my name is Bucky and we only have one place on our website to put it. But what if we wanted to take this component and let's say display it three more times. So for some reason we wanted three headings that said my name is Bucky. Why would we ever want that? I don't know but let's say we wanted it. Well what you may think is you might want to try something like this. So remember this render function takes two pieces of information. The first one is what are you trying to display and the second one is where do you want to display it. So if we want to display this a couple times let's just try copying this and pasting it like that. So we're going to display four of these and hmm, that didn't work out and if I look at my IDE it's uh, tweaking out, giving me a whole bunch of trouble. And this is because whenever you display components or use this render function, it says, okay, I can only render one thing. So if we ever want to reuse these, and for example, display four of these, we need to stick them inside a div. So div, div, and put them all inside there. So right now, we can have a bunch of child elements we're still rendering one div what's inside it doesn't really matter so now when I refresh this check it out it renders fine so just remember that whenever you have a component and you want to display it or use it multiple times then make sure that you wrap it inside a div so react doesn't freak out now another thing I want to show you guys is how to use properties so let's say instead of just saying my name is Bucky, let's say um, we wanted this component to say I like to eat and then some kind of food. So like bacon and then we reuse it again. We say I want, I like to eat uh, tuna, I like to eat ham, I like to eat Hot Pockets. Well what we need to do then is we need to pass in some additional information and that is called a property whenever we're talking about React components. So how do we do this? Well, whenever you're rendering your component, instead of just rendering it plain without any additional attributes, you can pass in an additional attribute and let's say, um, let's just name it food. So for this one, we'll set the attribute food equal to the value bacon. And let me just do this for all the components. So for this first one, it'll be bacon. The second one will be tuna. Uh, this third one would be like uh, beef, whatever, and this fourth one will be like a uh, ham. How come all the food I think of is always meat? I don't know, but whatever. All right. So now what we're doing is whenever we're making this component, we pass it in another piece of information, and these are called properties. So how do we use these properties? Well, instead of just uh, you know typing a word right there. Anytime you want to use a property, use those curly braces, and then to access it, type this dot props, which stands for properties, and then the name of the property, so food. So what this is going to do is it's going to say, I like to eat, what property was passed in for food? Bacon. What about for the next one? Tuna, so on and so forth. So I like to eat bacon, tuna, beef, and ham. And you can also... Um, let's say, let's pass in another one as well. So we'll say user, so we'll say something like Bucky likes to eat bacon. So we'll say what user it is as well. So Bucky likes to eat bacon, um, Sally likes to eat tuna, it's just sounding kind of weird, but <laughs> whatever. Emily likes to eat, <laughs> Emily likes to eat beef. That's, that just sounds weird to me for some reason. And let's say Tony likes to eat ham. Well then, we can just say this props user. So for each component, this gets the user property, which is the name, and then say they like to eat whatever their food property was. So let's refresh this and check it out. Bucky likes to eat bacon, da 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 da. So that's another way that you can customize these components and give them custom attributes or properties, remember that's what these are called, if you ever want to use additional information. So there you go, hopefully you guys enjoyed and now you know how to use components multiple times 
and also how to pass in properties. Pretty sweet. See you later.